Hello guys and welcome back to Assetto Corsa. Today we'll be taking out the Lamborghini Mura SV on a fully revamped Lake Louise. So we'll be first be talking about the track and then move on to the car itself. Yep, that's brilliant. I mean, I mean the car from the back. I mean, I don't know why, but it just reminds me of Magnum PI. <laughs> I, 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 I know it's a different brand. It's a Ferrari and this is a Lamborghini, but it just reminds me of all we need now is Tom Selleck with a moustache and I think we're ready to go. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's one of those cars of that sort of era, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think the gold wheels look great. The number of colours this car comes in is incredible. Oh, I'm I, just giving you a bit of 360 right yeah, now. Has he, got, has he got a gold sort of yep. side oh, yep. yeah. 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 wow. oh. as well. But um, we'll just jump in the car. First thing I have to say about this track is the pit lane does work. However, you can see it's incredibly bumpy yeah. and it is a little glitchy and it does also have a one issue which is at the end, uh, at the end it sort of, well you'll see in a few seconds, come around, you'll see me slide and just glitch. What, what, and there's a slide and then there's a glitch. Whoa. <laughs> was that your driving? No, no. That <laughs> Are you was sure? Actually, yeah. yeah. Okay. That was actually, right. a, a, the, for some reason the pit lane is very, very slippery but once you get out on the track just look how much has changed. Yeah. You reviewed uh, Lake Louise last time. Yeah. Uh, you is can it, see how different it is. It has changed a lot. I mean, now they've got, uh, what is it, invisible walls in some places? Yeah, they've got invisible barriers so you don't fall down the cliff all the time. Mm. Plus, I mean, this is this is with the help of Snoopy. So, the, the original Orsha, author of this, Orsha? Orsha, yeah. The original author of this um, has gone and contacted Snoopy and Snoopy's helped him to revamp this and it looks absolutely incredible. Still the odd glitch here and there, you know, some parts where you can see through the earth. Just very, very few. But look at the, just look at the road surface. It looks like a, a proper yeah. road surface. It's sort of mm. maybe a little damp. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm, I know we're going to talk about the car later on, but I mean, just, just look at the sort of, you can see the sort of, um, the colour on the bonnet yeah. changing as well. I mean, they've gone so, so, so much level of detail. The, the detail. Pretty impressive. The detail in this car is so good. And we're, we're going to talk about this and the, the way this car is made and uh, all about how how this car was developed a little later. Question, who's actually made this car? That's a very good question. Um, I believe one of the authors is a fellow on race department known as Miko. Uh, there are two others as well, as well as someone who's done the sound, uh, someone specifically done the sound engine. Uh, we'll give them all the credits in the description box below. Plus, these guys have done this for freeware and you can, you can hear it already and you can see the car. It's incredible. And I would highly recommend you guys donate to these guys. Uh, and they're asking for donations to make up for, for the amount of time and effort they have spent. And so, from all three of us, with it, we are giving them, um, we are giving them a, you know, a, a shout out. Yeah, we're giving definitely. them a shout out mm, yeah. for the incredible work they've done. And please, guys, even donate a little bit to them uh, to help them. And you know, you don't know, they might come out with even. Even better. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they will. I'm sure. I'm, th I'm sure this is just a starting point, and I think, I think so. the sky's the limit with um, what they can do. Well, with this quality, incredible. But let's talk yeah. a little bit m bit more about the track. Um, there's been a few updates here and there with the mountains, the cliffside, the trees. You'll notice are no longer uh, hittable. Mm. They're, they're non-collidable objects. Um, and on top of that, they've also sort of uh, sorted out the polys on the trees a bit. So there's not that much of a frame lag anymore. Uh, the frames on, I think we, we've had an increase of about 15 frames okay. uh, so from what, the last time. What, what, what have we maxed out at then? I think we were maxing out on this at uh, 100 at most. That's, not, that's pretty good. Um, before pretty good. we were maxing out about 70, yeah. 75. Yeah, I, 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 think, that. I think 70 plus and I think we're, you're okay. Yeah, any, anything it, above 60 it, yeah. and you're, you're really good. Yeah. But obviously we've got a pretty powerful machine here. Yeah. So for those who don't have as powerful a machine, yeah. it's good to know yeah. that this is maxing out quite higher yeah. mm. uh, because for those with the less powerful machines, yeah. they can still enjoy this in all its glory. You, you've got an i7, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I've got an i7 yeah. processor. I think I can run it up to, I think, something like a 4.2 if I push it. So not, it, it is, it is very, bad. very powerful. Um, but that being said, it doesn't mean that you need that kind of processing, yeah. uh, processing power to run this track anymore. It, it has been improved, it has been optimised. And the textures have been optimized, so the grass is a lot better. The cliffside has been optimized. Yeah, I, 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 like, I like the shadow. Look at that. Shadow the is shadows amazing. Are incredible. Yeah. I have to, the shadows were something we pointed out in the first time. Yeah. The shadows were really good, but they're just a lot better. And you, you, you can see on the trees on the left hand side, the yeah. shadow, it, they look very realistic. Exactly. I mean, shadows. I mean, tend to give away a lot of. You know, if they're poor, you can yeah, tell you, straight you away. Yeah, you get jaggy shadows yeah. and all that kind of thing, and it's but, it's not optimized correctly. Yeah. And maybe sometimes the trees, when they have them. They don't cast shadows. Yeah. 
And I think that's one thing though that does drop the frames mm. is the amount of shadows that there are. Mm. Uh, because every time you have a shadow, you've got to take the light wherever it's coming mm. from, cast a shadow. Mm. And the more you do that, the more frames you're going to drop. Um, but I think it's a nice balance that he's found here. The, the author here, coupled with Snoopy, they found a very nice balance. And I think they've done a really good job. Um, the track itself is just as great to drive as before. Uh, the, I think the surface is a little bit more grippy now. Yeah. Uh, there are a few parts where I found it's a little, still a little bit too bumpy. But apart from that, it's, it looks very good. It feels very good. And you'll notice later on through this video, you're going to notice that the track itself, the, it looks like it's a little bit wet at points. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, uh, I don't know whether this is just like a placebo effect or something, but it felt like it was, it felt like it was wet. It felt like the track was a little bit damp, a little bit slippery, slipperier in places than it was, you know, for example, up the top of the mountain. Which is where we're going. Which is where we're yeah. going right yeah. now. But as we start heading back down the mountain, you will notice, especially in the shade, the track does look like it's got a, a light sheet of water on okay. it. Okay. Well, so we'll, 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 when we come to that, yeah, we'll talk we'll, about that. Yeah. Right, should we start talking about the car then? One moment. One thing you missed out is um, the map itself is a bit buggy. Oh, yeah. yeah we're, we're totally out of sync. Yeah, we, we've... <laughs> I mean, you can see the... the well, we've the got our track. position, but yeah. there's, nothing, yeah. there's nothing there. But you'll notice as we start going around the track, the map is sort of... It has a mind of its own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we, uh, we, I think we, that's... The last version of Lake Louise didn't have a map. This version does, that doesn't work, so I'm guessing the next version will have a map that it's works. It's a step in that right, yeah. Right, yeah, right, right direction. You've been, we're, yeah. we're not going to fault them. Yeah. Um, you know, to be honest, as we mentioned a couple of episodes ago, it's better, if you want to cruise around, it's much better to just switch off all the HUD, all the icons, yeah, all definitely. the maps, and just drive. Hmm. Especially on a track like this. You have so much more focus, and it feels so much more alive. Um, and it's, it's just better. Hmm. The only reason we have them on is either if we're racing or for example showing showing you guys so you guys can see the speed the car's doing the way the car's handling tire temperatures etc that's the only reason we have them on otherwise we'd run with them off as well mm. uh, I think that uh, would be all is there anything I else? think yeah just one more thing but uh, I think it's probably just a slight issue yeah. maybe they're working on it is the sound in the tunnel when you go oh, through oh yeah it. there was no that's reverb about, in no. That. Yeah. I think that's, that was the same case there to be honest though, with the noise of the sea, there should probably be reverb Yeah, there should well. be here. But with the noise this car makes, I don't think you miss it at all. Yeah. Mm. You don't miss it one bit. And I think that nicely moves us on to this car. So would you like to introduce us to the actual car and its stats? So it's a Lamborghini Miura SV as I mentioned before. It was made originally in 1971. This is just the SV version. The car before, which is normal stock version, was made in late 1966. 1966, yeah. yeah. Um, it's not to 60 is 6.7 seconds, so that's pretty fast. It's not a slouch considering how old it is. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and it's got a four liter V12. V12. V what, what did I just say? V. You v said weed. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, what, what, what have you been smoking? <laughs> right, V12. V12. Yep. V12 dual overhead cam engine producing 385 brake horsepower at 7,050 rpm. So and it's that quite torque, high. And that torque. Which that, we're about to mention, 400 newton meters of it is just caused high. me to spin out. Yeah, <laughs> and he has a five-speed manual gearbox, which is which better. is standard. Yeah, which is standard. It's, so. it, it's just better. Although I don't know, um, I think maybe a six-speed would have been better. I, I but did, obviously, it is. You did mention this yeah, earlier. It's, I mean, it's, it's a slight, slight tweak. I would have had that put in. Yeah, but but this is the this is the car as it was, and I like it as it is. Um, you don't you don't sort of make your own adjustments when no. you're making a mod for a game no. to sort of make it better yeah. in any which way. This is how the car was and this is how it's going to be. And up on two wheels I go, and here comes that tunnel. So if we'll just we'll just uh, sort so, of stay a little quiet just as we go through the tunnel so you can hear. See, there's no reverb. Yeah. There's no reverb. Yeah. That. Although there are lights in the tunnel, which is quite nice. Mm. Something new. That, that's something new, and it, it does kind of add to that whole feeling. But uh, the car itself. We've taken it out for a spin here on Lake Louise. We found that it understeers. There's a lot of understeer on it. But then I found that any Lamborghini I've ever driven in any game, whether it be a Gran Turismo or a Seta Corsa here or Need for Speed, they do seem to understeer. Yeah. Well, in Need for Speed, they just drift everywhere. <laughs> but they do seem to understeer. Forza, you've got understeer. Uh, I don't know, that seems to be a trait of big Lamborghinis, V12 Lamborghinis. Yeah. I've never driven one in real life, so I can't really comment. Well, I've, I've watched reviews of people driving yeah. in real life, and they do seem to say that yeah. it does have an understeer, especially the one that was big was the Murcia Lago. 
And Mercy yeah. Arago had this crazy yeah. understeer. Uh, and for that reason, for that only reason, I did not like that car. Well, the new one, is it the Hur- Hurricane? No the, Hur- no, the new flagship would be the Aventador. No, no, there's a new one out. The Huracan's not a flagship. Is it not? Oh, no, okay. it's, it's a replacement for the Gallardo. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So it's not flagship, but you can see here, look yeah. at the shape. It looks a bit glistening. And did you see that sort of the cla- um, the shadow move away? As if it was like yeah. going out of a cloud. It was pretty incredible. But um, like we said, so the car understeers a lot. But the attention to detail on this car. The steering wheel itself has to be mentioned first. Yeah, absolutely that amazing. That raging yeah. ball. Honestly, I, I, I actually yeah. want a steering wheel just for I my bedroom. I love the steering wheel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, is, that is, you know... Well, that, the thing is, that's what Lamborghinis always were for. Lamborghinis were bedroom wall posters. Yeah. A Ferrari was to drive fast yeah. and do incredible... Lamborghini was something that looked incredible, looked bonkers. Yeah, and, and the stitching on the, on the dashboard. The attention, yeah. the attention to detail in this car is absolutely incredible. I mean, we'll show you a few pictures right now of the car, the exterior, the interior, and you can see... The even the word Lamborghini written on the back, mm. the way it's written, the mirror, it's it's done so accurately. Yeah. Um, precision. Precision, yeah. yeah. Precision engineering from this is honestly the best car I've driven in a set of Corsa ever. And uh, until now. Well, okay, yeah. Until, until now, now. Uh, you, you never know. <laughs> We're probably going to get better cars. Yeah. Um, but if they keep this quality of work up and they come out with yeah. other other um, cars. I will be honest, I would pay for something yeah. like this. I mean, I'm talking about, have there been any DLCs been released lately? No D- no official DLC, there have right. been some unofficial DLCs released. Right. Um, so those are like GT3 cars and GT2 cars, uh, like Aston Martin, right. Porsche, a few of them. Um, but no official DLC as of yet. Uh, what else about this car? I think the noise. Yeah. 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 Well, that, that well, after this, uh, well, I fell in love with that. I, 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 I think heard that's it. the main thing. <laughs> yeah. You, you, the noise that you hear on this car, it sounds incredible. I mean, I know I'm saying amazing, incredible, fantastic yeah. a lot, yeah. but there really is no other way to describe this car. The, it's, it sounds great. It looks great. Even the, the attention to detail, even on the noise, when you change gear. You hear a click. Yeah. 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 And the click that you hear when when you change gear is it's just that little those little things that make the car seem more endearing. Sort of, yeah. Immersion. The immersion, the immersion yeah. factor. Yeah. Uh, we're back at the start again. So we're just gonna keep yeah. going around because I think there's much more yeah. to talk about this yeah. car. The car itself, what I don't like about the car itself, I can't fault the mod. What I don't like about the car itself, and it's very accurate, so it's it's great work by the modders, is the windscreen is ridiculously small yeah <laughs> you, you, were you peering from over yeah over. <laughs> I was this is where I think I need a track IR um, and for those who don't know track IR is a headset that you attach to your head and you have a camera in front wherever your screen is yeah. mm. and when you move your head left right up down it will move the viewpoint yeah uh, that's something that if we do get a hold of we will show it and we'll start using it in our yeah. videos because I think for something like a set of Corsa in fact for most simulators, simulator, yeah. yeah. Whether it's flight simulator, a set of course, train, uh, train yeah. simulator, yeah. It, it will be something incredible I, because you can look to I, see where you're going. I think track IR would work in most games, to be honest. Yeah, but there's. But there's it probably of, works uh, best yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. the benefits. Yeah, we, we, something we could possibly look at. I think so in the future. Yeah. yeah. But if we if we had track IR on this, I think when me peering over would have helped. But you can see right now, I can barely see the road ahead. Because because of how sloped the screen is, I think I'm on a slide here. There I go. <laughs> this is what I mean about um, Lamborghinis being oversteery, uh, understeery at some points, but then occasionally you you get that, and that's if you carry a bit too much speed in, and you'll find that the car just snaps out on you because maybe a slight bump, a slight bump in the road that will happen, um, and it kind of shows because as they say, all Lamborghini V12 flagships are there to kill you. Uh, strangely enough, the Aventador is then, which kind of is sort of a um, step in the in an odd direction for Lamborghini. Mm. Fantastic car still, yeah. but all Lamborghini V12 flagships want to kill you. Mm. No less the Diablo. That one wanted oh. to kill anyone that touched it. <laughs> this car is no different. If you don't respect the car and don't respect the car's limits, you can easily find yourself backwards in a ditch, yeah. upside down. Right, it's, it, it is as simple as that. Even in something like a set of Corsa, the physics in this car are absolutely incredible. Um, again, there we go with the word incredible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the physics, though, are oh, they're spot on. 
and they feel good. The the car handles exactly how you would expect a big Lamborghini yeah. to handle. I mean, look, I mean, going going back to the dashboard, there's a lot of dials there. There are um, a lot I mean, of dials. I mean, yeah, I can't I can't make out what they are. It's very I think sporty, there's, there's a lot. You've oil, got the, 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 oil pressure. Yeah. You've got oil temperature, water temperature, right, okay. all all the pressures and everything. Yeah. Fuel tank. Because you'll notice on the actual dashboard, there's only uh, there's only a speedometer. Yeah. And, and you've got a tank, and that's it. Um, you haven't got any water temperature, anything, yeah. so all of that has been shoved down on the side, where you don't really need it. Because uh, if, I think if that's you're bad, honest, when it? you're when you're racing, you're not gonna mm. you're not gonna really look at them yeah. unless it starts glowing red or something. Uh, but I don't know what more to say about this car, but it's. It's really, really good, and, and and it's a really nice color. The red is just uh, red and gold. No, it's not just yeah. red. There's quite a few. Uh, we saw you can have it in sky blue. Right, okay. You can have it in bright yellow with a with a white stripe at the bottom. You can have it in champagne gold, light green. Uh, you can you, yeah that bright green. Uh, if you look, if you search this car online, you'll see loads of colors. All those colors that you see, you can get because these guys have textured every single one of them in, and it's absolutely amazing. Great work by these guys. Yeah. We have to congratulate these guys. Um, yeah. The rate, the models that we ha have now in sort of highest regard yeah. uh, is Bob Skype, who made that Cosworth, yeah. which that was incredible. Mm -hmm. The team that have made this, uh, Snoopy, the guy who's made Lake, Lake Louise, those have to be the best yeah. models out there at the moment. Never crash with the sound engines. He's, that is an incredible uh, model as well. All these guys, we thank you guys for giving us some amazing cars to drive amazing tracks to drive and uh, like I said the link to this track and this car is going to be in the description box below as well as a link to these guys so you can thank them and you can donate to their projects and hopefully get them coming out with even more stuff yeah uh, we'll leave you for a few minutes to enjoy the engine um, and I think that's about it right yep yeah thank you very much for watching please remember to subscribe to our channel hit the like button on this video and leave a comments in our comments box below we will see you in the next episode